The second group of buyers are the firms or investment expenditure. What kind of firms? For example, we can think of Concordia, Second Cup, or any other Canadian firm you can think of. Private firms need to buy goods and services as inputs before they can produce their own goods and services. For example, Concordia would need to buy furniture. Second Cup would need to buy coffee machines. sugar, coffee beans, and so on. Firms are also consumers before they can produce goods and services. One important note, investment expenditure in macro strictly refers to the spending by firms on goods and services. Investment is not about buying stocks or putting some money into a savings account. Day-to-day -day language, sometimes we refer to buying stocks, putting some money into savings, as investment. This is not investment in the macro sense. How come? So if you buy stocks, these are not considered to be investment expenditure. Why is that? Let's look at the example of day traders. I buy stocks this morning, sell them in the afternoon. What happens is the money that change hands are just transfer payments. My money goes to you, your money goes to someone else, and so on. No new product is being produced in the process. As a result, buying stocks or putting some money aside, it is not investment in the macro sense. Investment always refers to private firms buying goods and services. The goods and services that private firms buy could be produced in Canada or imported from abroad. On average, investment expenditure accounts for somewhere around 18 to 20 percent of GDP. Let's put in 18 percent. Investment can be divided into two components. Let's look at the example of second cup. Let's suppose for a given year, it spends $200,000 as investment. We can divide this into net investment. Let's suppose is equal to 150. And depreciation will be the 50,000. Net investment, the 150, refers to the second cup buying new coffee beans sugar, cups, furniture, and so on. Second cup need to buy these inputs before second cup has coffee to sell. At the same time though, a typical firm tends to budget some, some money to actually pay for maintenance. Maybe one of the chairs need to be fixed or one of the coffee machines needs to be fixed. Expenditure on maintenance, we call that depreciation. So altogether, whatever a firm would spend, we can divide it into net investment, buying new stuff, or depreciation to fix the old stuff.